Alrighty, so this is going to be a reading for my Aries. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel. This is going to be surprises coming up in love. And we're going to see basically what things are going to happen for the rest of the month in your love life that you may need to be aware of, okay? Good or bad. So we're going to get straight into it. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Mystical Crystal Tarot. We do tarot readings over here. So if you are interested in seeing more of my readings, please make sure you hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell and also the like button, okay? All of that is important if you do want to get notified for my future readings, okay? Um, also, if you're interested in getting a personal reading, please check out my description box. I leave all my information there. You do receive 20% off of your first reading with me um, if you are going to be a new client. So definitely make sure you take advantage of that. And my readings are pretty affordably priced anyway, so why not take advantage of it? But um, let's go ahead and get started. So surprises coming up in your love life. Um, what I do see for a lot of you... The first surprise is uh, some of you, you may be, you may be, um, hmm, some of you, you may be breaking up with someone during this time frame if you haven't already broken up with someone, or some of you, you may get broken up with. But I do see that there is going to be some sort of split up for some of you if it hasn't already happened. Um, and with the split up, it's going to put you in a space to where either this individual is still stuck on you and you can kind of sense it because of the energy um, that's coming off of this individual. Like some of you may still keep in contact with this individual and then you may notice that this person may be acting very standoffish towards you um, or they keep like making it a point to kind of bring up the fact that you guys aren't together anymore and it could be affecting them more than you really think. Um this ex is really stuck at the moment really trying to also come to a place of understanding what went wrong um they may be somebody who needs to take more accountability for the fact that they may play a role in, in you guys not being together anymore like they may be the reason for why you guys don't have a relationship anymore and some of you guys may be at fault. It really doesn't matter who's at fault, but this person is really stuck and you're going to really start to sense that. Um, now, for a lot of you, you may be giving this person another chance later on in this month. OK, some of you already may have given this person a chance already and this person may be in your life now. Um, but you do need to make sure that you're looking at the red flags if you know that you keep giving this person a chance and they're like kind of taking that for granted um you keep giving this person the opportunity to be a better partner a better lover um show up more in the relationship basically and they've been making it more and more difficult as you continue to like i said give this person a chance um show them your sense of loyalty like you you need to look at that and you need to also make a better judgment call in regards to whether or not they are somebody that needs a second chance okay some people you cannot keep giving them chances they will keep taking those chances and and, and basically pissing them off okay some people they just never learn from the actions that they're taking and you can only show them that what they're doing is wrong or out of alignment with what a healthy relationship is supposed to look like by separating yourself from that. Um, I do see in divine timing, there's definitely going to be either a new person coming in or like I said, this ex. But I do sense for a lot of you, it's a new person and possibly an ex. Like some of you, you may kind of post this new person and your ex may see it and it may trigger them and they may come back around. Others of you, um, like I said, you may be in the process of moving on and then this person just pops back up and it puts you in a space where you have to kind of decide, okay, which option am I going to go for? Am I going to deal with my ex or am I going to deal with this new person? And really what I will say is make sure you guys really listen to what this person is saying through conversation, okay? This is going to really tell you what you need to know in regards to this person if you should take them back. If they, you know, can't accept responsibility for whatever they may have done and they're placing blame on you and solely on you and just making it seem like they're 100% perfect 
and they can't do no wrong, then yeah, that may not be a person you want to be with because they can't even accept responsibility for the things that they may be doing. So that that's not a healthy relationship. But um, okay, let's continue. Let me go ahead and um, pull some more cards. Let's see. Aries, surprises that may be coming up in their love life. Oh, surprises that may be coming up in my Aries love life. Yeah, so looking further at this, hold on. Okay, so looking further at this, um, I really get a sense that, yeah, whatever happens in your love life during this month is really going to trigger you guys to go into a space of introspection to deal with um, emotions and feelings and basically dealing with aspects of yourself that you've been kind of neglecting to take care of so some of you you may have started to let yourself go in your relationship let's just be honest um when you get into relationships whether they're happy sad whatever it may be you start to kind of let yourself go because you feel like you've caught that one right <laughs> and it's like okay well to hell with working out um i'm already in a relationship and you get comfortable you want to eat you want to you know all of that others of you it's more of like neglecting yourself in an emotional sense um or in a self-care sense you could be somebody where like when you get into relationships you really engulf yourself in that other individual and you know making sure they're good and you may have been so caught up in making sure your partner was in a good mental space because they may have been going through some stuff or you may have been so engulfed in like just the relationship itself that you need to get back into the flow of taking care of self okay like you just need to and you're going to be triggered to do so during this time frame to get back to self um some of you there's going to be some um moments of reflection in regards to the way that you may handle situations things may be a little too petty sometimes as far as like conversation is concerned and that also is something that you guys may need to work on the way that you guys communicate your feelings, the way that you guys deal with um, the tense, the tenseness. Yeah, I guess <laughs> the tenseness in your love life, in the relationship, there's there's a better way to deal with the issues here. OK. Um, some of you, you're going to have communication from somebody who may be like watching your page more than anything this could be an ex that you haven't spoken to per se but they kind of keep tabs on you via like social media um and when you have this conversation with this person like i said this is going to give you everything you need to know whether or not you need to move on from this person if it's salvageable or if you you know can move forward and you guys can have a more successful relationship moving forward but for a lot of you what needs to happen for that to be a reality is you guys need to let go of the past in this relationship like if you're going to work on things with your person there's a need for you guys to let go of the past issues or if you honestly can't let go of the past issues there's a need for you to just let go of the whole situation altogether because the mental games and the, you know, arguing and the bickering and really cutting kind of below the bell and stuff like that is not healthy. It really isn't healthy. And if every time you guys have arguments, it's, oh, forget you, you're trash, and I don't really want to be with you anyways, then that really lets you know whether or not you need to stay in this relationship. If every time you guys argue, you feel like, oh, you need to cut this person off and you need to do a self-cleanse and all this other stuff. And that's not somebody who you need to have in your life because a relationship should never be that toxic to where you feel like you need to completely like detox from this individual because of their toxicity. Um, that's somebody who needs to get out of your life. But this is what I see. Thank you so much, Aries, for watching this. I hope that you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please make sure you subscribe and like this video. Um, again, if you do want a personal reading, take advantage of the 20% off. I will have it listed below for you um, and also my website and all that stuff. And yes, thank you for your support. I love each and every one of my Aries out there and I will talk to you in the next one.
Bye, guys.